Hello, I'm Susie Cowper of Tea Cozy Folk and I've joined the March Knitting Challenge and it's a fundraising thing for Versus Arthritis. Hence the t-shirt. The idea of the March Knitting Challenge is to raise money for the charity Versus Arthritis. So what I thought I would do was I would design a tea cozy and raffle off the knitting pattern. So, you know, somebody would win the pattern to make their own tea cozy of whatever I designed that March. And I thought the tea cozy that I would design, you know, it has to be March themed, doesn't it? I thought that'd be quite nice. It's a little link to the March challenge. So I thought I would do a March hair. I've got a fundraiser page set up. It's on Facebook. You can sponsor me through PayPal. And it doesn't matter how much you sponsor me, whether it's a pound or 50 pounds, everybody will be entered into the prize door. And do you know what? One knitting pattern doesn't sound a lot, does it? No, I'm gonna have five winners. So I'll send the March Tea Cozy Knitting Pattern to five winners who sponsor me for my March Knitting Challenge. So that'd be really nice. So first of all, before I start designing a Tea Cozy, I have to do a little doodle and draw what I'm going to make. So come over here, watch me. Right, so it's going to be a medium sized tea cozy to fit a medium teapot, which, is, which holds two pints or six to eight cups, depending on how big your cups are. So that will be the size of the finished tea cosy and I design all my tea cosies to fit Price and Kensington teapots so if you've got a medium Price and Kensington teapot it's going to look superb so that's the basic shape and this oh this is just so you remember it's a teapot Yeah, I thought a Mad March hair would be nice, wouldn't it? Well, then, do you know why they call them Mad March hairs? Because it's the time of year where they're getting a bit frisky. So they're all looking for mates and having a bit of a dash around. Apparently, the lady hairs, um, they test the males by making them chase them for miles. So... <laughs> They try to wear them out first, which so that seems a bit counterproductive, doesn't it? But um, anyway, that's what they do. So up here I have the head. And his head will have to be on a bit of a neck because they, they do have quite long necks, don't they? They're quite big animals. We sometimes see them at dusk hopping along in the countryside. And it's really exciting to see them because I don't know about you, but I love to see British wildlife, you know, and it's, and it's in the countryside and it's a natural place. It's just lovely, isn't it? Now, I found out that a male hare is called a Jack and a female hare is called a Jill. I wonder if that has anything to do with the nursery rhyme. Jack and Jill went up the hill. So he'll have his big ears and then he'll have eyes on the side. I think it's always nice when you do animal eyes to give them the false ones. They just really bring it to life, don't they? So there'll be his eyes there. Do they look like eyes with about level? About there. Now on the sides, they have, obviously they're known, aren't they, for their big back legs. And all that hopping they do. Yeah. So that'll kind of be there. You see that, their hip would go over where I need to leave a hole. So I'm going to have to figure that bit out. But they have the, this is that, you know, the big thigh and hip bit they have. And that will come out straight towards you there. Oh, you'll look cute, won't he? Because I'll, 
create the pattern in March and then it'll be April and it'll be Easter y looking, won't it? I loved Hartley Hair as a kid. Did you watch Hartley Hair? Pipkins, it was called. I did love Hartley Hair. He was quite naughty though, really, wasn't he? Maybe that's why I liked him. He was a bit naughty. He was a bit cheeky and a bit tricky. And he was always trying to get one up on the pig. There. So that's the basic outline of what I think I'm going to do. Does it look hairish? Of course, you'd love to have a tail around the back. But I can't draw that because... Um, do you need to watch me colour it all in? Or should I do some magic of film and do a big reveal at the end? So that's the little hair. That would be quite cute, wouldn't it? It is nice to do animals because they're really cutie. So that's it, that's the hair. So that's the knitting pattern I'm going to be working on. So if you would like to win, well, being with a chance of winning, the hair tea cosy knitting pattern, just send me a little sponsor and then I'll pick somebody off the sponsor list. Well, five people off the sponsor list. And then I'll get in touch with you if you win and I'll send you a PDF copy of the pattern. Thank you.